Stuffing, gravy, all the fixings. People like Kenneth Dillard can now cook a Thanksgiving meal with help from Catholic Charities. I think it's great. I mean, I, um, I used to not need it, but at some point in my life, I learned humility. A line wrapping around the pews of St. Jerome Church in East Flatbush as those in need wait to get food like they were at the supermarket. Monsignor Alfred Lapinto is the CEO of Catholic Charities. It gives us the opportunity to share with them because we're thankful for all the gifts that we get at Catholic Charities and those gifts are given to us to give to others. Catholic Charities held a similar event in Queens Thursday. All of the items are donated. Al Cadenis and his wife Maria donated 700 turkeys, a tradition the couple started two years ago. They're parishioners at St. Francis de Sales Church in Bell Harbor, Queens, and want to help fellow Catholics. It's nice to come here and see the end result other than just writing a check and you don't know how much of your money goes anywhere. But when you hand the person the turkey and you put it in their basket, you know it's going home to their table. And that person has a smile on their face and it puts a smile on our face. Lakeisha Jordan has her hands full with donated food and children. With her nine-month-old strapped to her chest, the Brownsville resident tells me she has two other children and takes care of her younger sister. She's grateful for the help. I'm able to get and they're able to eat and everything and they can have a wonderful Thanksgiving. This is one of 160 programs Catholic Charities runs throughout the year to help nearly 100,000 residents. That includes donating 1 million meals through food pantries. And though this may be a challenging time for Lakeisha, it's not enough to shake her faith. If it wasn't for him and Catholic Charities, I probably would be struggling real hard right now.